hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in this video we are going to work on the remember me functionality so what actually it will do first of all let me tell you if a user enter his phone number and then password and if he log in without uh, checking this remember me then it will uh, log in uh, into the main app but when you close the app it does not remember the user so let's say I'm going to close this app okay and now if I uh, go and open the app again and it does not remember me and it automatically logged me out from the app I mean I'm not able to access the app so I have to log in again and again until I check this remember me so we are going to add this feature so whenever a user enter a phone number and password and if he check this remember me then the app will basically remember that user and he has to uh, use the app whenever he want even if he close the app or whatever until he click on the logout button from the main app so the app will remember the user and he uh, do not the user do not need to log in again and again so yeah let's do that go to the android studio and first of all let me tell you that we will use a uh, paper library for doing that and if i give you, uh, you a short description or you can say a short explanation about this library or dependency then this basically write the user information to the android memory so by using this uh, library we will remember the user phone number and the user password so this link will be available in the description down below i already give you a short description what this will do and if you want to uh, read about in detail or if you want to i mean read the explanation that uh, what it what actually it do and there are also many other feature of this paper library okay so you can uh, simply read all these things if you want to learn about it in detail and also they uh, tell us the way that is how we can basically use this okay first we have to initialize this uh, paper library okay and then we will uh, read and write i mean by using this paper library we can read and write the user information into the android memory so yeah you can uh, read about it in details if you want so what i'm going to do is first of all let's add this dependency okay copy this and go to the android studio and here we have module app and after that i can simply paste that and make sure to change this compile with implementation okay and yeah that's it now click on sync now and now let's go to the prevalent package and we have a prevalent class and inside it we are going to add two string type variables that will uh, store the user phone which is basically the unique key for every user under that key we have all user information so we have to store it inside that variable i mean inside this variable which we are going to define and then initialize string and the first one is the user phone number so we can give it a proper name that is phone key equals to and let's give it some initial value okay so this will let's say user phone and then for the user password we can simply say user password key and change this to user password so yeah that's it and now go to the login activity and we have a checkbox on our login activity i hope you remember that and now we are going to uh, define and initialize that so private checkbox which is this one com by material widget and let's give it a name as checkbox remember me and inside our on create view we can simply say checkbox remember me equals to checkbox And the ID for this is remember me checkbox. Now we have to uh, initialize the paper dot by using the paper dot in it, and the context is our login activity. So we can simply say this. And now come down here, and here when we allow access to account, before we allow access, we need to uh, store the values to these variables, which are the static variables: user phone key and user password key. So we have to store the phone and phone number or you can say the phone key and the password so first we have to check the checkbox checkbox remember me dot is checked as you know that uh, let me tell you 
that is the checkbox will return uh, two values either false or true so when we say checkbox dot is checked this this will basically return the true value so if the checkbox is ticked i mean uh, if it is ticked okay just like that okay so if it is ticked it will returns true value and then in that case we have to add values to this so i mean to write the values to it so you can say paper dot book dot write first we are going to write to the variable which is our user phone key okay so we can simply say it is inside the prevalent class dot and first of all let me tell you make sure to change this private to public okay public access specifier so then we will access these variables there on our login activity and whenever we want it okay so we can say prevalent dot user phone key comma and we are going to pass the phone number i mean we are going to store this phone number which a user will enter we are storing it inside that variable on our private inside our prevalent class in this variable which name is user phone key you can see that okay it turns yellow so i mean whatever the color is it doesn't matter this is just saying that it contains some value now and after that we are going to work on the i mean to write the password to the android phone memory as i told you paper uh, library basically we use and we store the user information to the android phone memory so it is on the prevalent class and here we have another one which is user password key comma and we have to pass the password to it so whenever now a user login then it will basically update i mean it will pass the phone number to it and the password to it okay and it will store it uh, to the phone memory android phone memory now once uh, it is stored now we have to check on our main activity that is as you know that our app starts on main activity so if a user open the app and uh, if he is already uh, clicked on the remember me tick okay if it is ticked then it will remember the phone key and the password and i mean whenever the app starts it will automatically uh, directly send the user from this activity to inside the app which is our home activity so yeah let's do that so go to the main activity and here uh, now inside our on create uh, method what we are going to do is after this button we can simply first we have to initialize the uh, paper p a p r paper dot init this and now we can use it so we are going to retrieve the users data from there okay so first of all inside the string type variable which will be our let's give it the same name which is phone user phone key equals to paper dot book dot read and here we are going to read the data that is to retrieve the user key so you can say prevalent dot user phone key the same we will do for the password for reading the password from the android phone memory so we can simply say password here we need to get the user password key and once we get that then it will contain some values okay so let's say if the user do not check the uh, checkbox then it will return null value okay so what we are going to do here we can simply check first that is if user phone key is not equals to null that is it must contain something then it will execute this okay so then we are going to check the user password key if this is also not equals to null or instead of that don't use this null use this uh, to quotation which also means null okay don't use this null i think we will get error if you use that but you can check it like that also if you want and then inside this by using the text utils we can just confirm okay that is text utils dot is empty user phone key and text utils first make sure to write the exclamation marks not okay if not dot is empty the user password key then here we are going to call a method which we will create now 
allow access and the same thing we will do which we perform on our uh, login activity but here we will change something so the first one parameter we will pass to that method will be the user phone key comma the user password key now let's create this method here okay and we will give this method the same name but first of all let's go to the login activity and here inside this allow access to account copy this code from the database up to here okay copy this go to the main activity and paste all that code here and now first of all uh, what we going to do is replace this user phone key with this variable which you are already using here okay so phone and the second one is the password so the for the password we have this password variable so copy and replace this with here okay and now the rest will be the same so we are checking inside here that is data snapshot dot child we inside the users node we have this phone and you can see it uh, display this red line all you're gonna need is to make this variable final okay you can simply uh, click on this red bulb and make variable final or you can just type here final and final with both of these string type variables so yeah that's it and change this parent db name with this username okay which we just did here so make sure to change this also and then we need to add this uh, loading bar okay we have to define it so first of all let's change this to main activity main activity and yeah everything is okay now main activity and also change this to main activity now we have to add this thing okay so go to main acti uh, the login activity and copy this private loading bar go to the main activity paste that here now we have to initialize that here so we can say loading bar equals to new progress dialog this is the context and come here and here we need to copy this copy it go to the main activity and here when we say that is above here okay or instead of that here when we call this method we can simply pass that here so yeah that's it and change the title of this to already logged in already logged in just we are telling the user that you are already logged in and we are going to redirect you to the main app there is no need to log in again and again so yeah please wait or here you can type any message you want to show to the user okay so yeah that's it now the next thing which we will uh, need is that is to whenever the user click uh, inside the app when the user logged in into the app and when he clicked the log out button then in that case we have to destroy or you can say uh, delete the values of the phone key and password key user phone key and user password key so for that uh, go to the home activity and here as you know that uh, we write our code here which is just for now but later on we will add uh, more functionalities to it i mean we will add uh, this logout button in the drawer android drawer here on our home activity but for now we will just go with the simple uh, logout button so here i can simply say paper dot book dot destroy and that's it and it will uh, delete all the values from the android phone memory that is the user key and user password and now the user is logged out so he has to log in log in again if he want so now let's test the app and now you will understand everything practically i mean when we test the app so the app is running now successfully let's go to the login phone number then password and first of all I am checking without this okay I'm not going to mark this let's log in so you can see I am logged in and I'm not going to press the logout button I'm going to close the app so that we can see uh, either it is working or not I mean if I now open the app then you can see it we will be on the main activity it is not going to send us I mean it does not remember the user key and the user password so now I'm going to log in again 
and I will click I mean I will mark this remember me then password and now I am going to mark this remember me so now this will the app will remember me so click login logged in successful and now I am going to close the app again okay I close the app and now run the app again and you can see already logged in logged in successful I mean there is no need to log in again and again okay I'm going to close the app again and if I open the app again here you can see that please wait and already logged in successfully so if you want you can change uh, the on our go to the main activity and here we have our this loading bar and if you want you can remove the toast messages if you do not want to change I mean to show this messages to the user so instead of logged in uh, successfully we can just tell the user you are already logged in or you can just say please wait you are already logged in so it will redirect the user so yeah that's it even if I run the app from here also so the app is running now and you can see that it says please wait you are already logged in and it redirect me to the main app to the home activity on which we will work in the next few tutorials so let's run that again and now we will check it for the logout button so you can see that it automatically send me to the home uh, activity or you can say to the main app now if I click on logout it will destroy and it will uh, delete all the uh, user keys I mean the user password key and the user uh, phone key so it do not remember me now now if I close the app and if I run it again then it will uh, it has it ha already destroy all the keys okay so now I have to log in again and then I have to uh, I have to click on this remember me so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and make sure to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account so that you can never miss any single update about our projects so yeah take care of yourself and bye for now